Hey everybody, I'm Sean Cheek from Waco, Texas. How are you doing? Today we're going to learn a country song, Yeehaw, by George Strait, called uh, The Cowboy Rides Away. It's a piano cover version, so melodies in the right hand. It's beautiful. Let's take a listen. and so forth. How you guys doing? Hey, welcome to webpianoteacher.com, our online community where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play piano online. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. I'm going to help you do that right now. All right, so <clears throat> here we are. Here's my board here, my sheets that I write out. In digital form and if you are a member of webpianoteacher.com you can download this sheet this is just a little snippet of it uh, kind of zoomed in you'll get the whole thing as a member and uh, be able to use that for your practicing very helpful now I said just a minute ago that you need to pick the right lessons well if you are a, a beginner this this could be one you could do here because it's not really that complicated um, it kind of goes slow and the left hand has just a repeated octave fifth pattern that makes it a lot easier to play and the melody is is fairly you know uh, easy to do but it sounds really good so that's what I like to play I like to play stuff that's easy that sounds really good that's that, that sounds like it's hard but it's not uh, so I'd recommend it if you're any anywhere in that beginner level it's a great one to do let's get to the board okay so we are in the key of G so we will have uh, some F sharps, and you can see those there. Um, but other than that, I don't think there are any accidentals. So, melody in, in the right hand and, and uh, accompaniment in the left hand. Um, let's take a look at the left hand here. And we see we have G, D, G. So look at that, here's middle C. So I'm down here, five, two, one. This is the octave, okay, a G and a G. Octave means eight, right? So there's eight notes apart. Two G's, boom, a low G and a high G. And in the middle, we have what we call our fifth, because D is a fifth above G. This pattern is used so, so much, not only in piano music, but any other type of music as well. When a guitarist plays power chords, they are playing an octave and a fifth, you know? Um, so we're going to get used to that feeling of having that octave and a fifth in our hand. Because when we change over here to C, it's the same thing. The feel is the same. I just moved to a C. Look, I go from G D G to C G C. So get the feel of that, the mold of that octave fifth in your left hand. That'll make it a lot easier. There's only really one more that we do, and that's D A D. Okay. So you see G D G D in the left hand. Great. One, two, three, four. Just straight quarter notes. You can hold the pedal down there. Sound good. Now the melody. Okay, bum, 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 bum. We'll start out with D, B in the right hand with one and five. That's a sixth. And then G, A with fingers three, four. So dun, dun, dun. And then F sharp, G with two, three. So play hands together on the first beat. Second beat together as well. Then the right hand comes in between. See that, how that A is in between? And immediately the left hand G. And then together on the D and F sharp and then the G. So slow motion is dun. Left, dun, dun, again. All right, I'm going to give you a little tip here. Um, when you're playing, it does not matter if it's going slow. In fact, you want to go slow. You want to go slower than the actual song to learn it because every time you play it correctly, that's going to help you uh, in the long run. You're going you're gonna to progress, get better at that. Every time you make a mistake, your brain is going to remember that mistake and it's going to be confusing. Okay, so you want to play in a way that you can play it correctly and have very few mistakes. And the way to do that is to play it really slow and concentrate, all right, which is hard to do these days with all the iPhones and technology and everything, right? We can't, we're so scatterbrained. But this is a great way to, to focus your mental energy and get back to being able to concentrate on something for more than a couple of seconds. So as you play, play it correctly. And that means you're going to have to play it slowly. That's okay. Everyone has to do that, all right? Back to the board. So slow and correct. Because enough times played it slow and correct, then you'll be able to one day, it'll sound smooth. 
it's very important that you go slow and put that information in correctly. Let's look at the next measure. The left hand does not change. Okay, so great. We don't have to move our left hand. The right hand, E, F sharp, D is what we have. So left hand first, then together, right, left, right, left. So one. Again, one. One more time. Got that. Now I'm going to put them together. I'm not going to move on yet. I'm going to see if I can play measure one and measure two together. Over and over again. Three is a good amount to repeat. But it may take you, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. I'll give you another tip too. Whenever you're holding or whenever you are using the pedal, and you have a left hand pattern, it's okay to hold those notes down. Don't feel like you have to lift up your finger every time. You can hold them down. I mean, the pedal's holding the notes anyway. They're going to keep sounding anyway. And holding that physically, holding your fingers down, helps you to feel the chord underneath. So let's watch again the board when I do it. See, I'm holding my left hand. Doesn't matter. I can do that. All right, now the next part, we'll do a C chord and then be done. Look at the left hand. Bum, bum, bum. So there's our octave and a fifth, but a different pattern. Da -da -bum -bum. Bum, 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 bum. Right hand has G and C, then a D, and then G, C, E. So it's one, two, four. Let's do that measure again. One, two, three, four. Last measure. One, two, three, four. Put them together. So that may take you a day on just those four measures. That's okay. Um, given enough time, if you can play those first four measures, given enough time, you'll be able to play the whole thing eventually, right? If you can do a small part of it successfully, that translates, well, I can do the whole thing successfully uh, because none of the rest of it is harder than what you just played, okay? So, uh, guys, I hope you check out webpianoteacher.com. It's a great song to learn. I've got thousands of other songs on there as well as beginner lessons. Check it out. Talk to you later.